channel so today's video is going to be a bit of a like DIY kind of thing and I thought it'd be a really good video to film um, basically is to show you how to do gel nails at home I am actually a qualified nail technician and I have been for the last three years now and at the moment I mean it's, it's not always been my full-time job it is just something that I do on the side but since the announcement in the UK being that beauty shops aren't opening for a little while, I thought it'd be the perfect time to come on and show you how I remove my gels, how I apply the gels and give you some sort of top tips um, to help them stay on. I know a load of people have bought their own DIY kits from say Amazon and Boots and things like that. So. What I'll do as well is I will do some research and link some down below so if you do want to try this out you can try pick it up for a reasonable price. Well, it's just going to be a case of showing you what I do and all my top tips and then I'll leave some details down below on where you can find some products maybe not as expensive and maybe a bit more on a budget. It would be a really good video because when I first started out on nails even though I went on a course to do them I watched loads and loads and loads of videos on YouTube. So I thought this would be a really good idea, especially for beginners. I'm still not amazing. Um, my nails have been on for three weeks and two have come off and a little bit of my thumb. And also as well, a disclaimer, I was gonna wait until my nails looked better, but I get very, very anxious. And when I get anxious, I like to bite the skin around my nails and they're not as bad as they used to be. They're actually not that bad at all compared to what they used to be. But I just thought, you know what, like this is me and you're probably gonna see it no matter what. So I thought I'd keep it in, keep it real. The color that I'm doing is actually this color um, called Daffodil and it's this really nice yellow. And the reason being is I have this really nice cobalt set that I'm wearing at the weekend. So I've got these shorts here and this crop top and honestly I am so obsessed with it and I cannot wait to have a really nice picture of that over on my Instagram so I thought we'll match it with some yellow and then I'm also doing a new tan so a new tanning routine will be going up on Sunday and a review of a new tanning brand so that's really really exciting but I'm going to stop rambling and we're going to get into the video because I want to try and keep this video short and sweet but give you all the top tips that you need. So I'm actually going to start with a different angle and the first thing I'm going to do is actually to remove my gels. What I've done is I've literally taken as I say like a cotton pad and I've literally just ripped it like this and split it into two and I've just laid all of them out and then I've also got some tin foil here as well and I've just got 10 sections of that. I've then got my acetone which is here and you might also know this as nail polish remover and you can get acetone free or with acetone so if you already have nail polish on or uh, well, gel polish then you need to make sure you get it with acetone otherwise if you try to soak it off it won't come off what you'll also need as well is you can pick these up quite cheap on Amazon is a cuticle pusher back and on the back of it is this and this helps to remove the gel once it goes a little bit soft um, you don't have to have that but I would recommend getting one of them because it does help a lot trying to get the gel polish off and you'd also need a nail file as well because the best way to get this off is actually using the nail file to take off the first coat of the gel and all you simply do is you go around the edge like this and then over the top again this is only lightly and then just over the top of it you just do a couple of swipes and the thing you want to learn to do as well is you don't want to go like seesawing like that because that then causes friction which then can give you burning and as well especially when you're working on your actual nail it can cause you to actually file down a lot of your own natural nail which you don't want to do is I've just made that nail matte compared to say that nail which is shiny and then that one is now ready to have some acetone on and leave to soak so all I simply do is just grab one of these dip it over like that and cover it I lay it over my finger like so grab some tin foil you just wrap it round and then at the top just tap that in and then you just leave that for sort of between 10 and 20 minutes 
and the acetone will then get to work and will start to basically melt that nail polish on top. And the reason why I would suggest putting it around in tin foil is the exact same as if you get your hair done. It just helps with keeping the heat in. So the hotter it is, the, the quicker it will come off. And if you try and do it on easy, about 15 ish minutes so all you literally have to do is just take them off like this and they'll just slide off but as you can see it's really just pulled it off so it's now a case of just taking this actually off the nail so this is where this tool comes in handy because because all you simply now just do is just now push against it and as you can see it literally just takes all the gel off really nice and easy nice and simple and you can push the other way as well if it does get caught in the corners you can then just use the other side to so this bit and you can simply just like push around and then push it out from the corners like so. So that's them all taken off as much as I can with the scraper. So this is when you then come back to your nail file and all you have to just simply do, and when I say light, you literally need to go over it so lightly and this will just take off that last little layer. That is it all completely off. And it doesn't matter if you leave a couple of bits because we're now going to actually prep the nails. So by prepping them, we're going to take that last little bit of the coat off. Right, so the next thing is now to prepare your nails. And prep is the most important thing to keeping your gels on. Like 100% the prep. So to do the prep, I've actually already got it in a little tub. And it's basically, it's called... Um, it's called like nail prep, but you can get through gel. If you wanna get a more amount for a cheaper amount, the main ingredient is called isopropyl. And I will leave that in the comments down below. And I've actually labeled this, so you can see it on here, but it's slightly, <laughs> slightly melted. And that basically helps to prep your nails. So it cleans up all the debris, all the dust, etc., etc. So what I'm gonna do is literally just use, I don't need a huge amount at the moment, but I'm just gonna just wipe it over all my nails just so I've now got like a clean bed. And then what I'm simply gonna go in and do is just go and shape my nails. So all that is literally doing is just going around the edge and just shaping them. I mean, most of them, like for example, this length here, they're all pretty much in shape because I've just had gels on. Um, of course, I will still slightly chip my nails. So it's just a case of if I wanna shorten them a little bit and things like that. So I'm not gonna show you how to file your nails. I'm just now gonna do my nails and file them. There's a couple where I did actually break it and I really don't wanna cut all the rest of my nails to that length. So I have just kind of left them. So the next bit is actually prepping the nails. So we actually are gonna come back to using my little cuticle pusher. Um, I actually have a electric file and this little thing here is like a little pommy stone so I can actually use that to go around my skin to try and clean that up a little bit. I'm just going to show you how to do it manually. All you simply have to do is you just go around the edge and you just start to push back and you're actually going to see hardly anything come off my nails because I do my nails roughly every three weeks so you eventually it's just me maintaining it so it's not really going to look any different but for you guys it is a hundred percent vital if this is the first time you're doing gels or you haven't pushed them back before it does make a massive difference because you want the gel to stick to the nail not your skin if it sticks to the skin or you get it on your skin on the outside and you don't wipe it off before curing it then the gel will just lift shorter in a shorter time and then you just go around the edge and basically what this, this will do is any skin that you found it will just help you pull it out if it needs to be done once you've then done that i would 100 percent recommend getting a cuticle cutter and you don't want to actually use this to cut fresh skin you want it to grab your old skin if you have a look on this nail here i promise you it's not my middle finger there's some bits at the end here that i can just simply clip so you just go ahead and you just clip them little bits away. You can get things as cold like um, a file blocker. I'll insert a picture so you can see it. And that can just help you smooth out them edges as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just do the rest of the prep of that onto my nails. That is 
pretty much all the skin removed as you can see there is some bits actually still around the edges and that's not a worry to do because this is where we now come in with the nail file and this is like the main part of prep that actually comes into play so all you want to do is push your skin back on the edges and you want to file over a couple of times and make sure you can like sort of double check the shape if you need to and this will actually help in getting them little bits of skin that you may have not been able to cut um, or push down and this will just help with that and then you just file over a couple of times over the nail bed and this is just to give grit to the bottom of the nail um, I'm now going to go ahead and do this on all my nails I'm also going to use my little pommy stone as well Right, the nails are now all prepped and ready for the colour. I have this which is prep and this helps with bonding the gel base to the nail bed and this simply is called dehydrator which is another word for it and this then just basically makes your nail a little bit more drier to put on the gel. What I would recommend is putting it on one hand do that hand and then put it on the next hand and then do it again because the thing that you don't want to do is keep touching your nails after you put it on because your nails will naturally have oil so putting that back on is then adding moisture to the nails so I've got my base coat then my color then my top coat and again I think that's pretty self-explanatory the next tip is basically trying to help you in regards to applying the colour and the base without actually, I call it flooding the cuticles, so basically not getting it all on your skin. Put on this base and then I'm going to actually try to change the angle of the camera to go above me so you can actually try and see it from above to get a full idea of how to do it. Um, so hopefully, fingers crossed, that works. Right, I really, really hope this is a good angle. I've got my gel kit thing here and I just pop it underneath. So we're going to start off with just putting on the dehydrator and you don't want to put too much of this on, it's just a quick wipe over of the nail bed. And the next thing is coming on to the base coat. Now this is where the trick works and it's going to be easier to show you over the colour but I'll just show you on the middle finger. So what you want to do is start in the middle of the nail and you want to wipe up and that's going to take out the main amount of the colour and then you then want to come back over to the side and to the other side and you want to try to do that with one stroke then you grab the bit in the middle and you push it down and then wipe it back up and again push down and wipe back up push down wipe back up and then once you sort of get the hang of it and you need a bit more you can then wipe some more on top and then just sort of keep slowly pushing down and wiping up that is all my nail covered without anything around the edges but what I'll do is I'm just going to do the base coat and then I'll show you it on the actual colour because I think that's going to be a little bit easier. I'm hoping you'll be able to see this because there is a really nice yellow and quite bright. I'm going to zoom you in. So you want to try and keep it as minimal as possible on the brush to begin with. And again, you start in the middle and bring it up, as you can see, and then you can then push that bit down and then push it back up. And you wanna do the exact same the other side. And if you can try to do it in one stroke, it works out better because you're gonna get the color a lot more even. And then if you don't wanna then push it more down to the cuticle, you literally just hold it and then push it back and then you just wipe it up. And I don't know if you can see, like that has only slightly covered my nail and with this colour it's better to do it really thin and do about three or four coats and trust me once you've done the first couple of coats it's going to be so much easier to apply and you're going to have such a nice flush and nail and it's just going to look a lot nicer instead of trying to put it all on in one go because if it's thick um, and it goes under the light only the top slight bit will actually set and not underneath it and that can also then cure cause the gel to actually lift. When I'm actually doing it myself, I can sort of actually start nearer the bottom just because of how used I have got to it. Um, but yeah, I just hope that's a little bit of an insight. And as you can see, it's just a case of putting it in the middle, cleaning the brush a bit, pushing it down and just swiping up and giving that that one stroke. Because on your first one anyway, if you miss anything, it doesn't really matter because 
when you go to do your next coat if you miss a bit then you can just simply add it on the main thing you want to do is just try and keep it all even and flat you don't want any sort of lumps and bumps and I feel like this colour might be actually the really easiest one to see it so hopefully this just sort of gives you an idea of how quick and easy it is to do once you get hold of a technique and yeah we're just going to go ahead and just keep doing that and keep pushing down to the cuticle where I can if it's a case that you actually do get a little too close then I use it's basically like a little pick and if you haven't got this you could just simply use a cocktail stick and all you just need to do is just go around the edge and just sort of wipe around like that and then that will just pull it across always 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 if you do slightly go over do it before you cure the nail because as soon as it's set you don't want to really be tampering with it you want to try and do it as as much as you can beforehand so i hope that helps and i'm just going to go ahead and just do my layers of the yellow and then I'll come back to you to show you the top coat. The coats are done for the yellow. I think I've done about four or five of these. So you can see that I've really built that up. So it's next to go ahead and do the top coat. Now this is what I think actually makes a massive difference to you not catching it at the top and peeling it off. So you do the first trick of just covering the nail like you normally would. Um, so you just start from near the middle and then just sort of go around the edges and fill in all the color. Then to seal it all together, I always will then tip my nail up and then go ahead and go around the edge of my nail and then link it back into the corners and then, then just go over it again. So it's kind of like you are sealing in the whole colour. So you're covering the top, you're covering the sides and you're then doing another coat over the top. And then you then, then put that in for 30 seconds and then wait for that to set. Um, I'll just show you again. So you, I normally cover the whole nail. Go up the top, cover the top up here. And then wipe it all off again at the top just because it's made it a bit thicker and that will literally cover the whole nail so i'm going to go ahead and do that and then it's just a case of doing the other hand and showing you the final result i have just done both sets of my nails this one i've just done the top coat and i haven't wiped them yet because it'll be sticky so all you have to just go back in with is the isopropyl so you literally just tap that in and then just wipe over it like that and if you really wipe over it, it just feels like it just completes it. So it just gets all the stickiness off and basically just clears all the dust and that is then your nails done. What I then would suggest is getting something like cuticle oil, one here that smells of lemons, which is quite ironic because my nails are yellow. But what you do is just grab it and just, I normally just do a little dab like this. And then you then just rub it in like so and if you try and do this i would say try and do it every other day it just keeps your nails really nice and moisturized and i think it just helps with keeping them look nice as well and like i said before i am really trying in regards to the biting and it does they still look reasonably bad but they're not as bad as what they used to, used to be that's pretty much it for how to do gel nails and again you could do the exact same on your toes as well and yeah i absolutely love it and i am tanning either tomorrow or friday so i am so excited for this color with the tan with the co-ord so if you want to see what these look like with the co-ord then please make sure to stick around follow me on instagram and you should hopefully see that picture coming up soon so that is the end of today's video as you can see we're now yellow and i'm really vibing with it i actually really like it i've not actually had yellow before 
and I'm really excited to see what it looks like. So I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please don't forget to smash a huge thumbs up and also to subscribe down below. If you've got any other questions regarding potentially doing your nails, then let me know in the comments down below and I'll try to respond to all of your comments. If there's any other sort of beauty hacks that you would like, then please leave them in the comments down below as well. But for now, I'm gonna love you and I'm gonna leave you and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.